Trouble in Paradise in the bottom lane for both of these teams. Mm -hmm. Just some mix-ups there. Yeah. Of course, they have been swapping rosters a little bit on Lol Pro. Teammates stayed the same. Sure. But it's just having that little just bashing of heads for some reason. Like yeah. It's not an internal conflict or anything. They just aren't gelling the same way. Yeah. Well, we're going to see who fixes their issues the fastest. Fastest here, the fastest, whatever. Fix the issues fastest here. We are into game one of our best of three here for third place. Team Law Pro, of course, the higher seed. And with a win in this series, they could go for the second place in the postseason, get that first round by, which would be good for these guys. Oh, yeah, you definitely want the first round by, at least get in contention for it and be able to play Curse Academy, which also be another display of power possible. Oh, sure. Because they knocked Law Pro down to where they are now in the third, fourth place match. You can get the rematch, then take it from them and be like, ha, that match didn't actually matter because now we get the first round by. Right, and you keep in mind that one of the things that's actually really valuable here in the Challenger Series is just looking like you're a stronger team. That that appearing to be the best is really important because you end up getting picked by the LCS teams, and the later you get picked, the higher your chances should be because you'd be arguably picked by a weaker team at the end there. So showing off that you're the better team is really valuable here. You're seeing Lee Sin, Thresh, Yasuo all removed away from Team 8. Cassidy and Maokai off of Hanser. Do they kill his Mundo as well? Well, there's another thing here, too, is that Gragas has not been banned yet. Mm. We know that Teammate has a high priority on the Gragas pick because California Trolls want something that he's very comfortable on and something he can make plays on and kind of dominate the lane. He doesn't really pay, play passive laners that scale up no. later. So that's a big thing of his name. Like, he always played Lee Sin. Like, he played Lee Sin every game in the previous round, which is actually something I talked to Coast afterwards, and they're like, yeah, that's exactly what we wanted. So I'm actually surprised LawPro banned that away because it wasn't as scary as his other champions. It's true, but apparently they just don't want to deal with it right there. Hovering the Fizz, it's cute. Ah, uh, nope. <laughs> it is a Cali Troll special, but it's unlikely. Yeah. Gragas does come through, and Gragas, gotta say, is a champion that you can really punish aggression with. You go a little bit too hard, you get knocked into a turret, and then life is painful, so. Even just knowing, not only is Gragas, of course, great, but I think it works well against the Cali Troll style. Yeah, Cali Trolls, I want him to whip out the Vladimir so <laughs> badly. Yeah. I really do. Vladimir, if you guys don't know, Cali Trolls is known for his Vladimir and his Fizz play, which is a little unorthodox. But when he's on an orthodox champion, he usually thrives. Mm -hmm. like I remember him back in the day on a top lane Kha'Zix, top lane Fizz. He's just crushing people because people are like, I don't know how to play this. And in the best of three series, you struggle to find it out by the end. Sure. We actually saw that with um, SK Prime's top laner, Smitty, uh, whips out the ribbon versus Gragas. And it's like, yeah, it's a free, it's like a free matchup. It gets hard countered. And we saw him in the uh, what the semifinal match against H2K, uh, got ganked like four times by TF, still won the matchup. So yeah. Sometimes those random picks come out there, and it's worth learning them. But right now, Lulu going to be the pick there for teammate. Could be Slusha, could be Cali Trolls. Also, the Elise for Porpoise Pops, one of his favorite junglers. Yeah, I'm really surprised that they would pick the Lulu that early on. I don't know if Lod would actually pick that as a priority champion for himself. Mm -hmm. And... There's actually something, because we've been talking a lot today, if everybody, I hope you've all been watching, like good League of Legends viewers. We talk a lot about cross-region stuff. Rengar's very high priority in Korea, pick yeah. ban 100% uh, every game. And then Ziggs, too, also has a high priority on him. Right. A lot of people have been putting the Ziggs on the wayside, saying we don't want the wave clear type of closeout of game. We want a more bloody game here. So I'm actually very surprised that that's not a priority here in North America. It's true, but it's not, and you're right. It's funny to see... The ways the regions move around. I do got to credit Europe, though, for being the general innovators of new picks. They seem <laughs> to be first on the train. It's like Europe invents them, Korea perfects them, the NA goes, you're right, Korea, these are really good champions. And like skips over the fact that EU did it first. <laughs> and so then, the whole NA-EU debate, I got you, Europe. It looks really funny, too, because like EU innovates it, like you said. Korea masters it, NA tries to copy it, but our stuff is like a cosplay that's put together with scotch tape. <laughs> is what it looks like half the time. They're like, oh, that's how you do it. I mean, to be fair, North America won Battle of the Atlantic. That is you can't really smack talk North America Well, I didn't, I didn't say, like, we walk up to Europe, and we're like, look at our cape. And it's <laughs> it's <laughs> just a glorious scotch tape cape. <laughs> Why not? Brahm and Ezreal come through Maple Street. He's been looking for his next lane bully since Lucian's still disabled for a short time. This time around, he's looking at Ezreal for that role. With every other AD carry on the table, save Tristana. Ezreal brought the bot lane here. It is a good combo. Yeah, he wants some type of lane bully that he can play because Maple Street's been favoring Lucian, Caitlyn, pretty much all the times that I've right. seen him. And then he fell back. Uh, he actually played, previously, he played some Tristana, and then it just didn't work out for him. Yeah. So he wants to go on another lane bully. Because if I look at his history, it's Caitlyn, Lucian, Corky. Mm -hmm. And then he has that Tristana game, which was not a good performance. Yeah, I mean, he wants to play the early game carries. We just talked about Ziggs a second ago. Yeah. That's going to be the lock in here for Law Pro. So a lot of area of effect power here for these guys. Just a high damage team. Gragas, Jarvan, Kogma, Ziggs, Ooh. Nami. Pretty scary. So here's another thing, too, is that they might go with a Mundo here 
for Team 8. Cali Trolls has played it in the top before, and it's, it'll be against a double AP composition here that also has a Kog'Ma. So if it is going to be a Lulu mid, which I don't know if it is going to be. Sure. But that would be what I think it would be as a, a Mundo top. But no, it's going to be the Syndra mid. Okay, so Syndra mid up against Ziggs. That will require a lot to respect the champion a little bit. We normally talk about Lot as a great Syndra player himself, but he'll be facing the champion this time around. Wanted the Ziggs, wanted the wave clear and all that fun stuff. Is his most played in solo queue. Can't really uh, rag on him too much for picking that champion. Of course, very strong. Slushy, though, going to show us his Syndra. See how that matchup's going to go here. But teammate, what I do like about them, though, is they have, I think, really easy ways to get into the fight. Syndra sets it up and everyone else can reach. Yeah, that's true. He can set up the fight from a long distance. And I'm actually really excited here because I want to see Slushy on this champion because we've seen him on Orianna and we've also seen him on Twisted Fate. And that's all we've seen him on so far. Yeah. We haven't seen him on Syndra in the North American Challenger series. I'm pretty sure he's adept at that champion. But every time we used to hear Slushy, it's like, oh, Riven mid. And he's so good at Riven mid. Yeah. And then it's like, no, Orianna is his go to, then twi and, uh, Twisted Fate. So he can go ahead and go to the side lanes. Mm -hmm. But now he's going to whip out the Assassin mid. And I'm really excited to see that. Yeah. And it's weird to see how the styles change up as well. Slushy is another player that's a converted AD carry to mid laner. Both these mid laners, actually, uh, Lod and Slushy, uh, AD carry became mid laners. And it's, it's interesting to see what type of champions they go to uh, because it's always interesting to me. So, like, Voibo is a, tran like a transferred mid laner. Uh, from top, for example, and it's like, who does what? Uh, but speaking of curse, like, we're not seeing double AD comps, despite the fact that he's got to know this champion really well. And I, I'm kind of curious to see why that's not the case here. But well, they did ban the assassin. They did ban the Trist. That's true. But they Law banned it. Yeah. They, well, they banned it against Law Pro because Law Pro used it previously. Oh, that's true. So the, a lot had run last round. Yes. Yeah, of course, of course. You're right. We saw it and it failed, and it was like, oh, okay. You know, never mind. Hard engage kind of stomps that. Yeah, I'm just gonna skip right on by that. So. Hard Engage definitely exists here in this Law Pro team. Welcome. One thing I like about Jarvan, uh, so, or Jarvan Nami specifically, is Tidal Wave is typically a bad engage skill because it's so slow. It's easy to dodge away from, you walk to the side. Jarvan basically says you can't walk to the side. You're just stuck in a cataclysm. And it kind of allows the follow-up engage to land a bit easier. Same with Zigzolti, so uh, I talked about teammate having follow-up, but I feel like Law Pro has arguably even more. If you're stuck in a cataclysm, you kind of die. Yeah, the 3.5 seconds, seconds of impassable terrain. Ooh. Just all these wards from teammate being set up very, very early. And trying to make moves off them too. Ooh. Toy on the AD carry roll. Last time we saw him, he was on support. Yep. And I talked to Lol Pro's manager, and he's like, yeah, little known fact, Patoy plays AD carries. I don't know what he plays, but he plays AD carries. Well, it's Kog'Maw so far. Yep. Really excited to see what his synergy is like with Low, because they have Low back. And when we saw Law Pro being very successful in making it to the second place in Summer Series 1, it was off of the Lotations. Yeah. I remember talking to them, they're like, we don't really have a star player, but it's usually off of our map movements. And Cali Trolls making a map movement into the bush. You know the thing about stars is typically they have five points. So you figure that entire team is a star, and every player is a nexus or some point. You're getting poetic on me. Why not? But it uh, kind of fell flat there. A Nexus? It, I, I mean, like, you know, well, the points of where stars intersect when you draw a 5 a star. Is that a point? Oh, oh, okay. The little, the vertex. Yeah, that's so that's. Every important. player is the vertex on the star of Law Pro. <laughs> there we go. Heaven Time gets himself a red buff with a flag toss. Woo. That's going to be level 2 for the Jarvan. He's going to start on the bottom side of the map, which means level 3, he'll be top side. Maybe that's a threat here for teammate. Right now, Maple Street and Dodo trying to get level two first, trying to get the push on. Looks like they are ahead a little bit there. They'll clear this a little bit faster, and they'll be able to push them in. But the synergy of Patoy and Low is something that we're going to have to keep close a close eye on. Because Maple Street and Dodo, they've been around for a while. We talked about that unchanged roster, but they're in a bit of a slump. Can they step up and go against this new bot lane and kind of leverage that for themselves? Well, right now, Low is getting a whole bunch of money. He's been harassing really repeatedly, forcing a couple of potions out of Dodo. Ooh. He went deep defense, by the way. They fast pushed that second one because Dodo was just sitting in the bush instead of assisting. Yeah. Well, he couldn't really because he would have been auto-attack harassed out. Yeah. But that's going to give level two to Law Pro. Low played that exactly right. Said, Brom, you're going to back off. No follow-up there. Played from behind the minion lines just well enough. There's level two, though. No real harass came through. And Porpoise Pops now going to be on the same side of the map as this Jarvan. He's looking to find him. No, he's looking to get around behind he him. He just trekked around the ward, too. Law does not see this coming. Are they going to get much of a stun there? There's the satchel. There's the Q coming out, but not enough gained there. Just one cooldown, and Lod is away. Heaven time. 
not going to succeed top lane either. Yeah, Slushy not using the combo immediately off the bat to get the stun. Enough time for a satchel charge escape. Yeah, on service, Kali Trolls though, going to watch this match for a little bit. Nice dodge in the Glitter Lance. So Kali Trolls going to miss a little bit of mana this time around, but this is 4.12 Gragas. His W is free, his sustain is large. Oh, poor Horse Pops making a trek. He's going to get into that bush. Ooh, he sees Jarvan. He is going to see Heaven Time. Corbus also win that duel, so they could collapse on Jarvan fairly easily. Oh, oh. he sees him now. Ah, That's not going to be very useful. Got ourselves box. a Demacian standoff. <laughs> Uh-oh, Shadow Isles. What? He face checks into him anyway, though. Heaven time. Zix backed off. This is a lot of health flag tosses over the wall. That was a strange one. Lod gets stunned away. Satchel charges away. Uh, away. Satchel charges away one more time. There we go. And now we're going to see the Trek up top from Porpoise Pops. He's just having a lot of pressure as Elise in this early game. Haunts are no ward here. But I don't know how much he's going to be able to get for it. He's going to start backing off. All right, so so far, a bunch of unsuccessful ganks. The laner has been playing very smart to keep their escapes up, to be on the correct side of the lane and just backing away. Heaven Time was sent back to base. A couple of wards in the Spirit Stone. Oh. Aggression, though. Slushy really wants to fight against Lot. Heal is burned during the ignite, so not much health gained. Flash, Flash Auto is gonna Ooh. be not enough. 26 health left Corpus. on Lot. Corpus oh, Pops is Corpus right Pops. here. Can you get him? Can you oh. get him? Seize him. Oh, he stops it. Auto attack. Cocoon. Huh? Nice repel gets the kill. Flashes away, but the turret oh. shot is gonna come through in time. Ziggs gets the kill, and Heaven Time gets the XP. Wow, so Lod stops his back. He ends up using his flash there too, but Forpus Pop ends up dying as well. But the first blood goal does go over to Team 8. And an assist. Yep. So it is a small lead to Team 8 here, who are in the bottom lane underneath their turret right there. And Lowe is honestly playing incredibly well right here. The Kogma, despite facing the quote unquote late bully of Ezreal, is holding nicely in this lane as well. Looks like the fresh Lol Pro bottom lane so far going well. Yeah, a lot of this has to do with the fact that Nami's sustain versus Ezreal's damage is actually kind of long-range sustained damage. He's kind of like, I'll hit you for a medium burst. He's not going to all-in you for the most part, unless he E's forward, and then you're just in a bad position half the time. Yeah. But also, just like, Dodo can't seem to capitalize on anything. Like, Lo is, like, he can let... Oh, oh time. a knock up there onto Slushy, who does not have Flash, by the way. Does knock back Jarvan. Lot going to satchel for a little bit of CC, but Slushy gets out. And there's Porpoise Pops on top of the ward. These jungle movements are fantastic, and the warding from both of these junglers are just showing that they are top tier junglers. And they keep a lot of tabs on him. He actually starts ignoring the ward. Gets knocked into the other. Here comes Lod, though. Porpoise Pops got to be pretty careful. Jumps back to the left hand side. Lod takes a cocoon and more damage. Slushy. Slushy wants this fight, but miscommunication sends Slushy in by himself, and Heaven Time will have the knock up fairly soon. Slushy's got to be careful. There it is. Gets the hit into the air. Slushy won it from dead. And Lod gets the kill. Miscommunication sends Slushy to his doom. And now in the bot lane, Toy. he's got to be careful. His support left him. He uses his flash and his heal. The support left to go clear that ward that was just left there for a tiny bit. And now they're going to try to all in again. They try one more time. Maple Street's got to be real careful. Ignite is on and there's the Brom Shield trying to block Lowe's damage. But Maple goes down. They did not see that coming, apparently. And now Dota's got to be careful. Dodges the bubble. And here comes Jarvan as well. There's pretty much nowhere for him to go. What a beautiful one flash, though. Shot. Does he get away? Oh my god, he does. I did not think that would happen. And here comes the TP. Cali Trolls wants part of this as well, but he's in a 1v3. Bubbles going to land. Heaven Time has no mana, though. Cali Trolls owes himself Nobody and has wants mana except for Kali. chase this one. Can he get the damage that he needs? I don't think so, but Law Pro are forced back. That was just a ridiculous back and forth there, and that's kind of the shot calling there from Cali Trolls. He's trying to make a play desperately in the bot lane, but he can't. The fact that he used his TP there, and he had TP advantage over Hauntzer, is going to give Hauntzer some free time in this top lane and a level advantage. It is a lane that Kali Trolls was pushing. And to be fair, at least he got the bottom lane XP that, you know, Hauntzer's getting in the top lane there, so maybe it washes out. But really, TPing for an equivalent minion wave, not exactly amazing. Yeah, it's a pretty big minion wave. Granted, it is a cannon, so Kali won't actually lose as many this wave as he normally would. Potentially. I mean, there's, what, six casters and two melees, and he's going to miss more than half of that. That's yep. still a lot of minions lost, oh, yeah. to be honest. There's no sugar coat in this one. Goes bottom, uses his teleport. He gets ooh, very minimal scenes. One minion kill from that wave. Nope. Literally one. Even if he was bittersweet Lulu, you couldn't have sugarcoated that one. Well played. Well played. Thank you. Maybe it's because he wasn't bittersweet Lulu. 
Ah, uh, there you go. Why? He could have sugarcoated it then. Cupcakes yeah. abound. So right now, Team 8 are in a bad position in this early game. Gonna go for a little bit of a desperation dragon here. There is that wow. pink ward there. They remember this ward because they've hit it a couple times. Did he just... So if he knew the vision radius on that, he snuck in with no one knowing. Oh. Like, heaven time, he wards it and he's like, wait a second. He has flash. This could be a smite battle. They know that they know about this. Six is around as well. There's the chance. There it is. And oh. it's fighting away by Heaven Time. And he's going to kill Forest Pops as well. Oh, no. Team Law Pro keep finding the right play. But Patoy might have overstayed his welcome there. Great block by Dodo on the tidal wave. Maple Street gets the kill. And now Lowe's got to be careful. Bubble's not going to land. The knock up. The Odin's coming through. Maple Street's still alive. Heaven Time's here. The Q misses, but here comes Heaven Time. Maple Street flash Q. One attack from dead. Gets it. Now Dodo does not have flash this time. Can they get the damage? Ooh. Not quite. Just right at the feet there. Really, really good play from Lolpro. They get the dragon for themselves, and then they roam straight down bottom with Heaven Time. Just kind of misplays back and forth here from Teammate, and the communication looks like it's breaking down. That's really something I'm noticing here, because if you're going to go all in on the bot lane, mm -hmm. you have to just do it very quickly, cleanly, and then get out. You can't stick around when you do that the mid laner and the jungler were both in dragon. Like, watch how long this takes. Heaven Time starts moving now. They end up killing the toy. And then Lo flashes away, and they keep chasing him towards where Heaven Time is. And they saw him come in with the ward. It's just very obvious that this play was going to happen and go down with that much time available. Sure. I mean, they saw him killing the dragon. You know he's not yeah. happen. Everything. And the fact that you have a numbers disadvantage too, like they could have killed the toy and just backed off, but they got very aggressive and they, they look a little desperate for these early games yeah. and they're just falling behind off these plays. I think desperate is the right term here. We talked about them last week, about them slumping a little bit. They were playing on much worse than they normally had as you know they gear up for their most important matches of the year now as they get near to the promotion tournament and the, and the postseason playoffs. And they kept trying over and over to fight Coast, stop every Dragon attempt, try to sneak things in all the time. And it, that sort of trend is continuing here. It's very troubling for Teammate. I have a time going for a little bit of an invade here. He has two wards in his inventory. He's looking to get them down on objectives. He pings deep. A lot wants back to base. Probably Athene's in the inventory for him. Heaven time not spotted on the way down. Doesn't go in for it. So I'm taking a step back, and you know how we love to cover compositions and what they want to accomplish. Team 8, their damage. Their damage output is actually very low. Yeah. If you look at it, it's kind of a mixture of utility and Cali Trolls. Ooh, is he going to get. No. Okay. Whew, it's close. Cali Trolls has utility top later that he can't really make a lot of plays on. He's just trying to go even with Hansu, who got that first pick, Gragas. And then there's Ezreal, not a hyper carry. Then you have Syndra, who looks for the assassination. And speaking of assassination, Heaven Time, he has his Cataclysm. He's looking for a play. Oh, Dota went a little bit too early. Gets Cataclysm. Has to flash away from that one. Here comes the tidal wave. Not going to mean too much, but got his W blocked out. He could have waited on that one. Yep. Ooh, Heaven Time's just putting pressure on all these lanes. And he's kind of having more success than Porpoise Pops was in the early game. Porpoise Pops is looking top and mid. Heaven Time, he's looking all over this map, and he is causing pressure and blowing flashes. Yeah, Heaven Time is really playing a great series so far. The Ward of the Dragon Wall, I mean, that could have easily been a stealthy Dragon teammate, right? They didn't get spotted doing it. You didn't see Law Pro try to rotate down. It was just a Ward over the Wall, he said, you know what? I bet you I can do this one. Now, Dota's got to be real careful. It takes so much damage. Now, Maple Street, the area of attention. It actually trades back against Matoy, but loses so much health for it. That was a very strange summon heal. Yeah, but Cali Trolls is coming in. Comes Cali Trolls, and that's why TV comes in for Hanser as well. The Ignite is on Cali Trolls, trying to do the damage. Flashes over one more auto, gets the kill. Now Dodo's got to be careful. One hit from dead. Hanser trying to chase down, but he will get stunned. Now Lowe's got to be careful. Cali Trolls finds himself a double kill. The Zigzult he's going to miss, and now Hanser is getting chased down by Porpoise Pops. The Spiderlings Lushy. are dead, but the fight is continuing. Lod gets the kill finally onto Cali Trolls. Forest pops there a little bit too long. Gotta be afraid oh! of Hanser. The ulti comes in. They trade two kills back. And now teammate once again have chased too long. Lod wants his kill. Can he find it? Not quite there. Not quite there. But there it is. Lod gonna get the kill. Now Slushy in the mix. Wants Hanser. Ignite is so on. So close. And it's gonna get him. He's gonna go down. Slushy makes it a three for three. But bottom lane, Adam Tur's gonna go down. And Maple Street's forced to flash away. What is this game? It's just back and forth. Bloodbath. Everybody 
all 10 members were at the bottom in 13 minutes. <laughs> you said it yourself. What is this game? It's an absolute bloodbath. That's what the game is here. As this starts off, Dodo extremely low, and then we see the TP. They baited him backwards. So the TP from Cali Trolls happens on the minion, and he just rushes himself in there. The TP then comes in on the right side, and we see just everybody. There's a party in the bot lane, and whoever gets here first is typically going to come out on top. We see Slushy very late to rotate down here, and boom, Cali Trolls gets a double kill, but he runs into Heaven Time and Laud, and his escape is pretty much cut off at this point, and then Slushy is left to his own devices. This is just all around, just back and forth, back and forth, and Slushy, the path he took, he was forced to flash over the wall, and then he's no longer a factor in the fight. Yeah. And the turret does go down first at the game, 14 minutes in, straight up lanes. These guys have been battling back and forth. AD Carry's been picked on a whole lot. They have low CS this game. The turret finally goes down. No battle quite in the top lane. It's on service and body slam. It looks like Lolpro have switched to go to the mid lane here. Heaven time. And Porpoise Pops. Kind of having inverse performances of each other. Porpoise Pops 1 3 and 0, Heaven Time 1 0 4, being a big facilitator of his team. Whereas Porpoise Pops, he tries to make moves and then they fall flat. The dragon was a good idea, but he didn't have the coverage for it. And right now, is this a good idea? Uh oh, Slushy knocked into the air. Dodo trying to defend, but can't quite do it. There comes Jarvan off the flash, knocks up Dodo, gets a cataclysm on a Slushy. Ooh. Slushy is surely going to go down 1 for 0 so far. The fight continues. Maple Street wants something to do. Dodo going to be running away in the back line, so the chase still on. Heaven Time versus Porpoise Pops gets the knockup. Double kill now for Heaven Time 3 0 and 5. And more kills keep coming through as Dodo 8 falls as well. And now, 4v0 on top of Dragon. And they just don't have really high damage DPS champions at this point in the game. This mid game definitely belongs to LOL Pro, especially off the back of that early game performance they were having Heaven Time. So once again, man, Team LOL Pro just finding the fight. The 6 1 and 1 Ziggs from LOL. You talked about it in the early game. Man, we don't see enough Ziggs. Yeah. Well, there you go. LOL's showing up. 7 KDA so far this game, playing a great Game one so far, 7,000 gold lead by 16 minutes. Rather big margin. Kelly Troll's gonna equalize something here, but Team 8 grasping at straws this game. Yeah, they're just, they look very frantic, very disorganized. And Lol Pro, they look like they had their picks down. The Jarvan Heaven Time synergy with Laud throwing the Mega Inferno Bomb right on top of the Cataclysm. It's that guaranteed damage, and they're gonna be near the center of it. And honestly, a lot of it is teammate being over eager and missing out on summoner spells. You talked about that last fight, two fights ago, I guess, with Slushy. Came down to try to save someone, couldn't do it. Flash Dragon Wall. Then we got Cataclysm. There's nothing for him to do. Lol Pro communicated the lack of summoners. Said, hey, we can go for Syndra anytime in the next four or five minutes. Picked her up easily. Yeah, the positioning from teammate has been very awkward when they come into fights. It's very staggered. People are always at half HP before the fight starts. They aren't picking the right fights. And then when they get into them, they don't know when to disengage them. It's just a very scattered teammate, which is a little uncharacteristic of them. But it looks like their slump is definitely getting the better of them. A slightly missed ward there by Porpoise Pops as well. It doesn't see quite into the brush, but it will watch the moves around the map. Lol Pro get top lane first. Just put Toy holding the mid lane here against three. Top lane outer surely going to fall. Three to one so far in turrets. And apparently Patoy can play AD carry really well as two because he is putting on a great performance right now. The fact that he is toe-to-toe -to -toe with Maple Street in terms of CS, they both have the same amount of deaths. But man, Fatoy, it actually surprising me because I didn't know that he played AD Care. They're doing reasonably well this game. Yeah, his CS is low, but Maple Street yeah. is low as well. There's been a lot of focus bottom. I'm wondering how much is the focus, and hold on. First of all, Cali Trolls does dodge the knock against one of his own, but now he's in the middle of a Cataclysm, does not have ulti yet. He's Ooh. got a turret, but is it enough? He's trying to run away. The slows so are close. on. Hanser holds on. Oh, oh he no. the Mega Inferno Bomb. No! That is a dead Cali Trolls, and now Heaven Time gets counter-engaged on, though the knockup onto two. Heaven Time does fall. Hanser trying to run away. Forest Box is around, but looks like he will not chase one for one overall. And Ezreal. Close one. Ooh. Yep. Pretty close. The fight is continued underneath the turret. May have been effective, but that means that Ezreal is in this fight. Maple Street all the way down the bottom, continuing to push. So can teammate hold on to a 3v4 right here because they're going to get a turret fort and more farm on Maple Street. Ruin King would be a nice item to have in this AD carry to finally break down people like Heaven Time. That's, they can go. that's the thing, is I talked about the damage of this composition. It's mostly CC, 
and some disengage, but with this composition that Lol Pro has, with so much displacement, so much engage, and also Monster on the Gragas, it's really hard to get away from Lol Pro. The fact that you have some disengage with Syndra, you can soft disengage with the Lulu, you can use Glacial Fisher, all these things in Kuhn. Teammate doesn't have the damage though. That's the big thing is this composition. Ezreal, he hits damage, spikes at like fourth item. Yeah. You know, Trinity Force played the Rune King, and you're like, I edge Last Whisper. Or something along those lines. Mm -hmm. And then you're like, okay, now I'm relevant. Like, Blade of the Ruined King, Trinity Force, you have a mild spike, but then you really need those other ones yeah. to just be on par with most four item AD carry. And even then, they're just going to hyperscale you with better people. Yeah. Ezreal's a guy who's going to need his items to do anything useful here. We'll see if he can do it. I mean, outside of just ulting back lines. Yeah, you kind of need the item advantage, is the thing. Yeah, you, to, you do. You, you need do. to just push somebody out of the lane and then go from there. But there wasn't enough focus on that. That's the thing with the early game AD carries, is they are very spell-based, right? They're champions like uh, Corky, you know, Old Lucian, Ezreal, Caitlyn. Like, they've got that one really big burst spell that's really strong, even without many items. And you hope to snowball that into extra items to carry on late game right now. Not the case here for Maple Street. A couple of words still coming down. Still has his yellow trinket. Death cap suit for Cali Trolls will help him a little bit. Yeah, and I also want to jump on the, the hyperscaling thing, is that all other hyperscaling AD carries are all auto attack based. Tristana, yep. Vayne, Kogma. Yep. It gets to support it. Attack speed is actually one of the under um, utilized, not utilized, I don't know, un underrepresented stats in endgame builds, so anyone with attack speed on the kit tends to do quite well. For example, Cog and uh, Trist have a lot of extra attack speed there for themselves. And Jinx? Yeah, and Jinx, exactly. So, something to keep in mind, Ulti comes across, clearing a few minions. Tower is so low. Rotation coming in here, low. Being the shot caller once again has definitely cleaned up Law Pro style so far. What I'm seeing this game, if this is indicative of how they're going to play this series, it looks very gruesome for Team A. Especially when, when their star players are playing so well, right? Again, Lod 6 1 and 2. Heaven Time as well, 4 1 and 5, really stepping up nicely. And even Hansa is kind of controlling that top lane against Kylie Troll for the first pick, Gragas. So, gotta say, good plays all around. Law Pro get themselves another turret. Dragon in 30 seconds. I love the fact that they first picked that Gragas and you just talked about it because that was something that teammate looked like they were kind of banking on and then they picked the Lulu into it immediately, like right off the bat. It's like, all right, let's secure ourselves a top laner. I don't know if they're going to pick the Lulu, but I always say this teammate really struggles in pick ban phases. They're very readable. They are, and it's like, ooh, ooh. heaven time. E came out too far. He couldn't land the knockup there. Wanted Slushy. Did he even throw the E out? Yeah, it was actually oh. in tri brush. Ooh, that was far. He chucked that thing. I think he, I think he put it inside the wall and it appeared on the right side of it. It's one of those spells that will appear yep. across walls and then Q doesn't reach anymore. You gotta be careful about where the thing actually lands. You can throw him short, it's fine. He'll still jump across. Just can't throw him too dragon. far away. Six is very hard to get in on a dragon fight. It's a good poke from Kogma. There's oh. Wave as well. Gonna be blocked out by Dota, but the team fight engages. And that is support dying the mid laner as well. Solution did not even ult during that fight. A double kill for Heaven Time. And now, ooh, flash away from Cali Trolls. And the mid game and late game comp here from Lol Pro. It's so hard to fight a dragon when they have a Ziggs. He was just putting his hex explosive minefields on the sides, making sure you couldn't get in. Then as soon as you got in, oh, you're out of mana. I'm just gonna yep. chuck this bomb. You have no flash, chuck this bomb. Yup. That's what I said the first time. Yeah. yeah. Yup. <laughs> the voice crack. I'm 27, I promise. Red buff steal come in for Law Pro. They're looking good for this one. 10k gold advantage yeah. right now. Very close to it. 9.2. Yeah. You're rounding up. I, I like to round. I'm trolling you. And I'm from California, so. Yeah. Cali trolls. There you go. And. Watch this. The way that they're all clumped up, the tidal wave, and the fact that that Megan oh, Bomb actually man. hit three people, yeah. and it still ended up killing Slushy. Slushy's, basically his contribution to a lot of these fights have just been snuffed out very quickly, whether it's just the zoning or the fact that he died. His contribution is typically 450 gold to Law Pro, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, it's just, I mean, it's just really, really great for Law Pro. That's all I can say. He's playing a risky champion in Syndra, who's got a goal in her lane to win. And Heaven Time's been all over the place, preventing their early game lead and crushing team fights. Like, what are you going to say? And I want to talk about this too, is if teammates, hypothetical situation, they come back, 
how are they going to come back? They're going to come back off of some assassinations from Slushy, scaling up Maple Street, but Kog'Maw is going to be even better. And the fact that you can't really close out on the Ziggs. It's so hard. Ziggs Gragas, ridiculous. Yeah. So much wave clear, and the fact that Teammate doesn't have hard engage. It's going to be a problem. And this is the thing, is that playing uh, these low mobility AD carries like Jinx, like Kog'Maw, it is threatening to play against the Syndra. Yes. Because she can reach you from your auto attack range, period. Ooh. Oh, Porpoise Bob. Porpoise. Bubble. Oh. Knock up. Huge damage. Spidling jumps up into the air, but There's he's no got race. nowhere to go. Flashes the wall, stays safe. Now, is this an overextended for Lol Pro? Patoy gets slowed. Teammate do not find their way in. slushy has got to be careful. Again, the Cataclysm. Again, the Zig Zolti. And down she goes one more time. Syndra has yet to open the team fight now multiple times in a row. And Lol Pro win that fight again. But every time they do that, I just want to be like, Wombo Combo! Because it's just yeah. so much damage, and they're just executing it perfectly. And now they have their eyes on the Baron. Lolpro just making all the right moves in this game, back to back to back. They absolutely are, man. And then right now is the point where I expect teammates to actually start playing aggressive, because they need to go for these picks. Lolpro focused a lot on trying to take down this fight. TP in for Cali Trolls. This is very risky. He does go into the pit, but he's so easily killed now. Up. I'm just going to let him take Up. Baron damage. Goes into the fight, gets evaporated in the battle. Teammate are going to push him up Baron, though. So the sacrificial lamb there in Cali Trolls to dissuade the Baron, but he gives himself up, gives up his TP. Hansa will have his up way before. So there's plays in the future that Law Pro can capitalize on. But right now, teammate have their eyes on this turret, Hansa on the side. But the waves get cleared away by Barrels. Hansa takes some damage, but doesn't really care so much. Barrels are bombs. Yep. Pick your poison. They're going to clear this wave, and it's so hard to get in on them. Barrels, bombs, and bile. That's the name ah. of it here. <laughs> and bubbles. Barrels, bombs, bubbles, bile. What's Jarvan got? Beef. Big lances. Big lances. It's best I got. <laughs> all right, all right. It's not very good. No, but it's the best you've got. It's the best I've got. True for a lot of things with me. Why not? Team Law Pro, nice. I like the, the flag toss to make sure he's safe across the wall. Heaven time is. And out he goes. And teammate, just 10k gold down. It's a very, very risky situation for them. And they came in pretty much, in terms of these two teams, as favorites based on their track record. But they are just in a slump, and it's very evident here in Malpro. Yeah. With the roster change back in, now the toys on AD carry, low, making the calls. It looks really, really good for them. And they're calling for the Baron now. And right. Corpus. He just backed. He's not going to be anywhere near this one. Doesn't buy home guards either. Dragon, not on the map. Baron sure is, though, for about three more oh. seconds. Ezel, not in time. Good smite. Not even a smite. Heaven time last hit there without it. That's how confident he was. Yeah. Ezreal ulti flies by. I don't grab good. Great. <laughs> That's the Jarvan way of last hitting. He's so manly, he doesn't even need smite. Ooh. I, I wouldn't try that at home. No, I wouldn't either. <laughs> At least he gets smite on D, though. That's the correct choice. Uh, That's why he actually got the last hit on Baron. He knew. Because he didn't he just even having it in the slot. Okay, okay. It makes you a better jungler. That's how it works. What if I just swap them and the swap the slots? Because you said it's in the slot. And then I just change the keys. Uh, it's, it's, so F is D and D is F. It's D for smite, F for flash. You heard it from Medios. And if you're on a Dvorak keyboard, you're just screwed. Yeah, top lane tier two taking some damage though. 27 minutes in. Team Law for looking for a way oh. in. Tidal Wave hits a whole oh. bunch, and so does the Zig Zulti. Slushy takes the Lulu Wild Growth and flash the wave. Kalitrol's gotta be careful. There's the jump in onto two. Lot picks up one. He is legendary now. Slushy falls over the chase on through. Second kill picked up. The Kales keeps Heaven Time nice and safe, and now the inhibitor under fire. In comes Hanser. Slushy rather low on health. Another kill for Heaven Time. Dota wait sure to fall. Only Maple Street left alive. Lol Pro crushing this game. They are absolutely dismantling teammate. 15k gold lead coming into the certain on the inhibitor already. 27 minutes into this game. Yeah. Wow. Back out nice and safe. I heard chat come through. Yep. That it is looks a like it's a GG. 27 48. The Nexus blows up. Lol Pro commanding win everywhere in that game. They did real good. Yeah.